14th, uh, people in the Western world anyway, uh, celebrate the feast day of St. Valentine's. Oftentimes it'll simply be referred to as Valentine Day, but it has a, a Christian uh, origin that I'd like to reflect on today. Uh, there is a strong tradition through the centuries that there was a priest in around the year 269 in Rome who was arrested for his Christian faith and ordered to deny his belief in Christ or lose his life. The priest of Valentine, of course, refused to deny his Lord, and so he was sentenced to be executed. He was to be in jail for several days prior to the execution. Uh, during his time in jail, uh, Valentine, the priest, uh, was befriended by the jailer. The jailer had a daughter who was blind. Her name was Julia. And uh, Valentine, being an educated man, was asked if, by the jailer if he could assist in educating uh, the jailer's daughter who was blind. And uh, Valentine said he would be glad to do what he could, provided that he was allowed to speak to Julia about the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, the jailer acquiesced and admitted that uh, that would happen. And so St. Valentine began to educate young Julia, and in spite of her blindness, was teaching her some of the fundamentals of, of rhetoric and arithmetic and so forth. And also, I taught her about Jesus. At the end of several weeks of, of, of tutoring young Julia, young Julia said, Valentine, do you think that the Lord loves me? Valentine said, yes, Julia, the Lord Jesus loves you very much. But do you think he can save my blindness, save me from blindness? If it's the Lord's will and it'll be for your salvation, yes, he can. And so Julia looked up to heaven with her clouded over eyes and said, Jesus, if you can, please heal me. And suddenly, so the story goes, she was miraculously healed. She cried out to Valentine, 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 I can see, I can see. He said, rejoice in the Lord because he does love you so very much. The next day, Valentine was to uh, be executed for his Christian faith. Uh, but before he left with the executioner, he left the jailer with a note to be delivered to young Julia, his former student. The note said, remember Julia, God loves you very much. And since you can see, don't ever forget who is the source of that miracle. Love Jesus always because he loves you, signed it, Thor Valentine. It's a beautiful story which illustrates the love with which we, we should encounter Christ knowing and recognizing the depths of his love and mercy for each and every one of us. At Valentine's Day, uh, people exchange Valentines and oftentimes uh, lovers or spouses will exchange Valentines, cook candies shaped like a heart or whatever, bouquet of roses, it's a sign of love. What does that have to do with St. Valentine? St. Valentine had everything to do about, about the love of Christ. Uh, he communicated to Julia and to the jailer too how much God loves each and every one of us. And Julia came to encounter that love in a special way through the ministry of Valentine. And so also through the ministry of St. Valentine's, you who are married, or you who are entertaining marriage, or you who have uh, significant others or whatever, girlfriends or boyfriends that, that you're associated with, that you send a Valentine to, or your flowers or candy or whatever, know like Julia, that it was uh, the Lord Jesus who planted that love in your hearts. St. Valentine, Pray for us. Amen.